This is Better Business Coach, session number five. This is the Better Business Coach Podcast, your source for critical sales training, proven education, and actionable worksheets, all downloadable for immediate use. We work hard so you don't have to. Now your host, the rapid growth guy himself, Matthew Pollard. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Better Business Coach. My name is Matthew Pollard, and as always, I will be your rapid growth guy. If you haven't already, please take a second to subscribe to both the audio and the video versions of this podcast. The audio will provide you with access to ideology and training to make you the most successful business coach possible, while the videos will give you step-by-step training on how to use the worksheets and templates that I will provide you with that are both actionable and downloadable from Matthew Pollard dot guru or better business coach podcast dot com. These are the templates that I have spent over a decade creating and perfecting and they're all available to you for free. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. This session I wanted to take a second to look at a coaching client that has a failing business from their perspective or from their shoes. See a failing business owner deserves to still have your respect because They have gone out and done what many people won't, and that is go out in search for their dreams, to do something that most people leave in the world of tomorrow, the tomorrow that never happens. So I wanted you to understand what hurts them the most about having a failing business. And the first is that they, in a lot of cases, would have gone out into business for themselves on the prospect of creating a better future for themselves. However, due to things not working, they're now finding themselves work 80 hours a week. This 80 hours a week not only makes them exhausted and puts a lot of stress on their family and their friends because they're never around and they're always constantly thinking about work, but it also stops them from appreciating what they do. What they used to do was love what they did and they went into business doing it because they loved what they do and now they have fallen out of love with it. It's a horrible situation and something that they really want somebody to come in and fix. However, they're proud and they deserve to be because of the risks they've taken. So as a coach, we need to make them feel like they deserve to be respected They just need some help. As a failing business, the next major problem that they experience is that they're always wondering where their next dollar is coming from. They constantly stressed about whether or not they're going to make good money. And because of poor financial planning, poor marketing, and poor sales, a lot of the time they have lots and lots of business and then no business for long periods of time. And then a few clients where they put prices down to desperately try and get clients and they're working, again, tireless hours for very little money, again, stressing because they don't know where their next job is coming from. So we need to be able, as coaches, to understand this is all going on at all times. The next thing that you need to be mindful of is that they feel like they have so many things that they have to do that they don't think that they can do anything well. What they once used to do quickly, easily, and efficiently, and found that they did better than everybody else, they're starting to doubt themselves and they're not even sure that they can do that right anymore. They're also feeling like they're the only ones that can actually make anything happen and they're the only ones that can actually do anything. Perhaps because they didn't find staff that gave them the results that they wanted and now perhaps they've given up on those staff and just try to do everything themselves. So not only are they working 80 hours a week and feeling like they can't get everything done well, they're also feeling that they can still do it better than everybody else. And as a result, they're working harder and longer and still not getting everything done. And they start to feel like there's no escape. Like no matter what they do, They're never going to get out from under this amount of work that they have got for themselves and that they've made the wrong decision. In a lot of cases, they're thinking that they wish they just stayed working for somebody else where they did a job nine till five and then could just clock out, go home and spend time with the family, a family that they probably feel at this stage is embarrassed 
of them and disapproves of them. Quite frequently, business owners struggle with the fact that they feel that their friends and family and partners closest to them disapprove of the decisions that they're making and once believed in them perhaps, but now have lost faith due to the fact that they're just working so hard and having such fluctuations in their earning ability. And for the first time, a once proud person that believed they were the best at what they did may now start to feel like they've lost part of themselves and their confidence has started to go. And this is an absolute horrible thing for a once proud business owner that had the faith to go into business for themselves. And we need to understand that this is all going through their head and make them feel like they're succeeding just doing what they're doing right now. And all that's missing is the skill sets that we will give them to help them along the way to get their business back into a solid foundation that works. Failing business owners have a horrible daily priority. They focus on time, fear, and bottom line. And everything is motivated by that. There's no blood pumping to the brain. It's purely a fight or flight mechanism and stress is the primary motivator for doing things. They're calling customers because they haven't paid their bill. They're worrying about other bills and not paying bills because they're worried about cash flow. They're constantly focusing and the huge amount of energy that goes into this, the fear of not getting your next dollar and fearing what your wife or husband is going to say because you haven't made the money that you need to make this week. All of this is tolling on the person substantially. And as a business coach, we need to bring them back. I have made simple changes with my clients that have drastically changed their day-to-day views on the world, drastically changed the outcomes that they achieve, and get them back in charge of their life. And this is one of the most important things that you can do as a business coach. Through coaching, I have seen people build a business that they start to finally enjoy and really start to do it well. Next, I found them really turn into a profitable business and make the money that they actually set out to achieve. They also start to retain staff through the soft skills that we teach them that give them the ability to be able to empower them to do tasks for them, which get them out from underneath the amount of work that they need to do. We start to create order from chaos and increase their self-esteem and self-confidence to make them believe that they actually can achieve and that they can be successful. And what also comes from that is by building their self-esteem and their confidence, they start to do work more efficiently and more effectively because they're stopping worrying about the next dollar coming in and the disapproval from family members and friends because they feel like they're back on the right track. You'll be surprised at what can happen by making a business owner feel that they're running a great business. You'll also find that staff that once hated their job really start to love their job and start to perform better. So retention increases. The business owner finally starts to save money on recruitment and saves all that time of of replacing a staff member, which again adds to the ability for them to achieve and do more things. And then they finally start to embrace change. And embracing change is such a big deal because what happens is when a client is underneath this pile of work that they have to achieve, they don't want change because anything that changes could give them more work and they're already stuck. So if you give them the ability to get out from that mountain of work that they have, they'll feel comfortable embracing the change that you want them to have, which really is the coaching philosophy. You help people be the best they can be by giving them strategies, systems, and structures that work for their business. So again, this session was really not about giving you something that you can run away and use with your clients straight away. It's really about helping you become more empathetic to their situations and know how specifically you can help them with their problems to get the outcomes that they want and put them back in charge of their business. See, 
So many business coaches want to just start talking about the financials and they start looking backwards at the problems that they've experienced and the poor financial results and start looking at how they can fix that as opposed to looking at the person themselves and feeling and understanding what that person is going through and then helping them see a future where they can be successful and focusing on the major problems that they're experiencing right now to move forward into that future. So by doing that, you will find that your clients really start to open up to you and really start to share what's going on inside their head, which allows you to provide more help, more assistance, and each one of the worksheets and templates that I will go through with you very, very soon will allow you to do so much more for the client just by being able to empathize with them and what they're going through. So again, I hope you really enjoyed this session. If you haven't already, please hop on iTunes and post a review, positive or negative. I'd just love to hear what you're thinking about this podcast, and I'd love to hear that you're getting a lot from it. Also, please put the star rating that you feel worthy. I hope, again, that you enjoyed this session, and I look forward to seeing you in the next Better Business Coach podcast. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the Better Business Coach podcast. Head over to matthewpollard.guru for links, recaps, and any downloadable templates mentioned in this and every show. Also, if you've not already rated our new podcast in iTunes, we'd love your support. Simply leave a review and the star rating you think worthy. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thank you in advance and see you next time.